coping with being a Gen Z I recently adult. turned 24, which means that I've been an adult for a few years now. I've got a college degree, a full-time job, my own yeah. health insurance, and even sure. a 401k. And the biggest thing I've oh, learned shit. about being an adult is it's freaking hard, man. And it's not yeah. even the things that sound like complicated Dental adult things things either, uh, like filing taxes follow, or Jesus. picking the right health insurance plan or even buying a house. I don't have enough money for that yet. Yeah. It's more like remembering which card I'm supposed to give them when I go to the doctor to prove that I have health insurance. Being a Gen Z adult is an interesting experience because even though I'm an adult, I don't always feel like one. I'm so used to older generations like referring to us man. as the new generation that when mail comes with my name on it, I still get surprised. It's like I'm somewhere in between yeah. being <laughs> a dumb kid and unk status. I, I feel like this too, man. Imagine having a health insurance. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Like when I'm at work where I have coworkers who have kids who are my age and they're all like, oh, you remind me of my grandson. And I'm like, haha, thanks. Wait, grandson? But then I come <laughs> home and hop on Valorant and there's 18 year olds calling me unk and telling me to go file my taxes. Like oh no. <laughs> oh. oh no. Like I'm only 24. Half the time I don't even Literally. know what I'm going to eat tonight. And I spend oh my, my god! I don't know what I'm gonna eat every day! Weapon skin. Oops. You know I haven't eaten a vegetable in three weeks. Plus Have I eaten a vegetable today? I've eaten some veggies yesterday. This is July. I filed my taxes back in April. Now that I'm an adult and have a full-time adult job, one thing nobody really prepared me for is being in a mixed environment. You see, when you're in school, everybody's around the same age. So when yeah. you're a freshman in college, seniors seem really mature. Oh, bro, this actually so much, man. Oh my god, when I was like... Literally, I was so young, like fresh out of school with my first job. And there were all these like 50 and 60 year olds and like the 40 year olds. And they were all like... Like they... Like, they they all felt like had that sort of like parent energy when they were talking to me. And then and then I started like the years passed and then there, suddenly there was someone younger than me and suddenly that person was the youngling and I suddenly felt like what the hell is going on? I was the baby. I am still a baby! No! I don't want to be an adult! <laughs> But they're really only a couple of years older than you. In real life, there's actual old people. And they've probably been working at your job. In real life, there's actual old people. No way! What? Has kids reach hack status? No, no, I'm not a hack. I'm not a when hack. When you're a freshman in college, seniors seem really mature. But they're really only a couple of years older than you. In real life, there's actual old people. And they've probably been working at your job since before you were born. My supervisor was telling me that this is his 25th year with the company. And what the fuck? Actually older than him. 25th year with the co I I can't imagine staying with the ch like with the same company for 25 years, bro. What? Ass him crazy. And that's crazy because that means he started in my position before my parents even thought about having a kid. So it took everything in my power when he told me that to not be like, damn. You're old. I'm the youngest person on my team <laughs> yeah. by like several decades and all of my coworkers are really nice. But the age gap kind of- I've worked in the same company for 10 years now. To be fair, uh, it used to be the norm to stay in a company. Huh. My dad worked his whole life at the same company. You know what? If the company is like actually nice to you, then that's fine, right? That's fine. If the company is actually like caring and helpful and all that shit. But if it's not just your average corpo who only cares about fucking up, you guys have jobs. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> that ripped me out of my thought process. Jesus. Jesus. It makes it hard to relate to them at times. Half the time, I don't even know what to talk to them about. So, uh, what was 9-11 like? It also doesn't help. No! No! 
out that we have very different lifestyles due to being in completely different stages in our lives. Like when we meet on Monday mornings and everyone's like, what did you guys do this weekend? And people are like, oh, my daughter had a soccer game this week. I was just spending the day playing video games. My son got his driver's license, so we went to look at cars. Me and my wife celebrated our 30 year anniversary and went to the beach. Oh my God, congratulations. Wow, that's amazing. I don't even like my wife. Then they turn to me and they're like, what about you, Will? What did you do this weekend? And I'm like, the same thing I do every weekend. I slept in until noon and then and I played, played Valorant, Valorant for six hours. But I usually <laughs> end up saying something like, oh, you know, I just took it easy, spent time with the fam. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But I've been kind of spamming that one a lot lately. So either they think I'm lying or that I just really <laughs> like hanging out with my family. On the other side of that, sometimes I have to confront the fact that I'm getting older and that people younger than me might not find me relatable either. I was walking oh my, my dog at the park. Bro, this, this one. Oh my god, that hits too one close. Time, and this kid who was probably about 13 came up to me and started. Oh my god, no! We really had a moment like this just the other day, man. Okay, it's been a few weeks now, but oh my god, how do you do, folks? It's actually, man! Oh my god! Like, 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 I was at Lidl, which is a supermarket here in Germany. And, 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 and there were two, like, kids uh, who were, I would say, third graders, second graders, really young, really young. They, they just wanted to buy one bag of gummy bears. They wanted to buy one bag of gummy bears. And... <laughs> They were short 10 cents and they looked so sad, so I was like, I'll pay for it. And I paid it for them. And and like the the the, the, the little kid, the 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 the, the, the girl went like oh, Die Frau hat uns gerade das, die Gummibären gekauft, which is like this woman just bought us the gummy bears or like rather like to paraphrase, uh, would more sound like this lady would be more fitting in this man. Like, oh. <laughs> I don't want to be an adult. Can I just go back to being baby? I'm a nice lady. <laughs> and you didn't bring some to us in the base. I bought it for them. How are talking to me? And at Look some point, you. I mentioned iCarly. You know, the TV show that yeah, we all know I and love. I love iCarly. And this kid looked at me and was like, what's that? And for the first time in my life, I felt old. The kids don't know about iCarly. No. I don't know iCarly. And I don't really know how to feel about that. There's also the realization that there are people who are younger than you who are more successful, like professional athletes and entertainers making millions, and you find out they were born in like 2003. And for me, it's not really what? about the money. It's more about the fact that I was told that if I went to college and got a degree, I'd be set up for financial success. But instead, all I got was debt, which is the opposite. It feels like as a society, we're finally arriving at the conclusion that college costs way too much money, but you still can't get a job without it. So even though an 18 year old can't borrow $2,000 to buy a car, it's completely fine to take out 30K to major in art. I don't really envy people who are young and successful though. I think- Oh my God. Sorry. Just I think that's a good to thing. Besides, I don't uh, even know what I would do with all of that money anyway. Back. Most of mine goes sorry, to sorry. DoorDash. Another thing about being a gym- Oh my god, freaking DoorDash, man. I don't really uh. envy people who are young and successful, though. I think that's a good thing. Besides, I don't even know what I would do with all of that money anyway. Spend it on anime figures. <laughs> totally, totally not looking at my Ai Hoshino figure right now. Totally not looking at her. Mmm. Totally, totally not looking at her right now. Totally not. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Most of mine goes to DoorDash. <laughs> Another thing about being a Gen Z adult is that we get blamed for a lot of things. Like even for stuff that's not even our fault. 
You hear it all the time when people are like, this new generation is what's ruining America. But like, <laughs> how? I've spent the Literally majority how? of my life in school so far. How? You guys were the adults. It's like if I walked into your house and got a bit of dirt on the carpet and you're like, oh, you got dirt on my carpet. You're ruining my beautiful home. And it's like, bro, look at bro, this place. It's just a carpet. Yeah, I might have messed up a little, but it looked like this long before I got here. Like, <laughs> oh man, in 2004, I shouldn't have been wasting my time playing Sonic on my Game Boy. I should have been voting. Look, yeah, I, my bad. Oh, I, I I was busy being in the room of my mom. I should have been saving up for a fucking house. My bad. I was enough to vote for president one time, and I didn't exactly have the best options. And honestly, they're only getting worse. I'm not saying it's all the older generation's fault the world is the way it is. I'm just saying it definitely wasn't me. I will admit, though, that Gen Z is responsible for changing a lot of things. The other day, I was reading an article that said that because of Gen Z, the Southern accent is dying, which I thought was interesting because I'm from Georgia and I reckon I should be talking like this down over yonder. Well but done. Really, I'm from Atlanta and I grew up on the Internet, so I just sound like this type shit. But I honestly <laughs> can't blame older generations for their lack of faith in us, because when it comes to Gen Z, some of us are kind of dumb. Oh my god, there's so many dumb people though. <laughs> there are so many dumb Gen Z lists, man. Holy shit. That roughly half of the generation Holy is of shit. voting age. We're starting to pay attention to politics. The problem is, a lot of people get their information from the wrong places. There's dumb we people all know that one Jones, person yeah. that gets all yeah, of their yeah, news yeah. from Twitter and TikTok conspiracy videos. Bro, the weather has been crazy the past few days. It's been raining like every day. Uh, yeah, it's Bill Gates. What? Ah! Oh, you don't know? Bill Gates has a weather machine that he's using. Oh, okay. okay. Lil Gen Z homie. Us millennials had to deal with this from boomers for 15 years. Strap in. You're <laughs> uh, in for a long ride. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Tend to control the climate so that all of the natural food dies and we're forced to buy GMO food. And then they'll use it to control our minds and turn us into zombie slaves. Eh? Huh. Huh. You uh got a source on that? Yeah, bro, it's been all over my f <laughs> It's on Facebook! For you, page. I can't believe you haven't seen it. Yeah, must have missed it. By the way, are you registered to vote by chance? Me? No way, bro. Those elections are rigged anyway. I saw it on Twitter. Okay, good. I mean, I was just curious. But as bad as we are, oh no one is more God. gullible online than the older generations. Sometimes I'll be at work oh and they'll be looking at an AI-generated video of a dogfish like, Oh my god, James, look what they're doing in Japan. Wow, that is wow. insane. I wonder how they got the dog to do that with the fish. What's the dog Guys, doing? that's fake. It's AI-generated. I mean, are you sure? Like, uh, This looks pretty real to me. My uh, cousin's second brother-in-law told me so he's seen his dog do the same thing it looks pretty real i feel like it could be real it's not you know my brother actually said he this? saw something like this when he was in korea <laughs> no oh my god no 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 uh, yeah crazy stuff they got going on out there can you send me this i need to <laughs> Speaking of things that are fake, America. let's talk about dating. A lot of young adults these oh, days no. think romance is dead. And, uh, not oh. Oh, oh, oh. Cholius in the gutter. Quite. Like a lot of things, dating has been commodified by the internet. And instead of the old school meeting someone in your community, asking them out, and getting to know them over now time, going we have dating die. apps that skip all of those steps and sit you down with a complete stranger where you both pretend that this isn't Yay! awkward and hope that one of you isn't a murderer. I, I get the idea of dating apps. <laughs> I could never do this, man. I could never. Holy shit! Never! Never, never, never! And I even know some people who are currently in happy, committed relationships with people they met on dating apps. I just don't think it's for me. I'm someone who requires the friends to lovers pipeline. However, I'm also a hypocrite. It would be quite the coincidence if we were both murderers. That would be quite the coincidence. That's true. Because I say I'd like to meet someone in a more traditional way, 
but I also don't leave my house. E dating has also become really popular among Gen oh, Z yeah. too. And I used Oh yeah, I must <laughs> I've mentioned this before. Uh, I almost said it all, but here, here's. I, I want to see if some people still remember, or some people can just guess it. Do, do you guys have, uh, know how I met Exagon? Do you guys know how I met Exagon? Anyone, anyone in here knowing that? <laughs> I didn't mention it before. I looked down upon e dating and thought it was really cringe, and I still do. But if you found the love of your life in a Discord server, that's wonderful, I guess. Dating as a I Gen guess. Z adult is really interesting because despite having so many different ways to connect Discord? No, it wasn't Discord. with one another, finding a genuine romantic connection with someone seems pretty hard. A lot of times you feel more like an option than a partner to someone and that's a pretty rough feeling. I think uh -uh. deep down we all want someone who chooses us, but at the same time we're so afraid to be the one doing the choosing. To me, dating is like a banana split. Hear me out. What? Look at this. Who has actually ever what? eaten a banana split? Like, uh, genuinely. Right ones. I remember this, actually, man. Uh, here in Berlin, they would uh, uh, sometimes sort like, street festivals, where it's, like, um, a street kind of, uh, I don't know, there's, like, a lot of markets built up, and there are some, like, attractions built, like a tiny, 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 um, Fuck, what's the word? Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, what's the word? Like Ferris wheels, like tiny Ferris wheels and stuff like that. Like, stuff like that. Stuff like that, right? Or like tiny rides uh, you would see at a, at a fun, uh, fun fair. Stuff like that. Tiny shit, yeah, tiny shit, tiny shit, tiny shit. <laughs> tiny stuffs, tiny shit, tiny stuffs. And... We went out as a family, I don't know, I was about 12, I think, maybe, maybe 11, around that age, right? Around that age, young, young, young teen. Maybe I didn't even hit puberty yet, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So, 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 we, w we went to the ice cream store, and they presented, they presented the menu and they made the banana split look really really tasty there are all the smarties and the whipped cream all around it and there was some ice cream with it and i thought this is gonna be so tasty i like that my parents actually bought it for me and then when i tasted the banana <sighs> <sighs> Ew. Disgusting. And the ice cream didn't even taste good. They made the ice cream taste bad. I don't know how they managed to make ice cream taste bad. They made the ice cream taste so bad. My mom finished it for me. I had like two bites of it and... Ew. Ew. Bro. Never tried a banana split ever again. Never, never, never. I also have like a love-hate relationship with bananas, where sometimes I do like bananas, but most of the times I hate them. So more, it's more of a hate relationship than anything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me Have you ever walked up to the counter and been like, yeah, let me get the banana split? You're a liar. But you know that a banana split exists and that it's like, look at it, it look probably it really good. good. And you've heard from other people bad. who've had one that it's awesome and you should try it. But you can never find the right moment to have one. Three scoops of ice cream, bananas, and whipped cream is a lot to deal with. And honestly, I can't imagine a scenario where I can justify eating that much ice cream by myself. I'm still surprised that my parents yeah, actually don't buy me that, man. Maybe they did love me. Oh. But maybe one day, when the time is right, You'll get to try a banana split. <laughs> and I hope it's everything you ever dreamed of. <laughs> okay, bro. Actually, what am I talking about right now? Actually, what are you talking about? Why? 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 But how did technology they... I've ever said. Oh, this was about dating? Like, out of my mouth, bro. Like, am I faded? One thing <laughs> I will say, though, about being a Gen Z adult is that I genuinely think that no one else before us has had this kind of experience with adulthood. And I know that sounds like the typical Gen Z are thinking they're special, but if you really think about it, the world really is different. Yeah, my my 
<laughs> my ex-husband's uh, co-worker's son definitely did see a dog like this. <laughs> Growing in up Korea. in the digital age alongside computers and video games <gasps> and so Oh, the job of games. Is different. Growing up Java games. Up in the digital age alongside computers and video games and social media is a pretty unique experience. You haven't been a Gen Z adult if your parents haven't told you to go walk into a business and ask for a job just for them to tell you to apply online like everyone else. Or having to tweak your resume a million times to avoid no, you you take that one heartland. You take that bad. I don't believe you. I don't believe you that you can watch a thing. Shut the fuck up. Adult, if your parents haven't told you to go walk into a business and ask for a job just for them to tell you to apply online like everyone else. Or having to tweak your resume a million times to avoid getting filtered out by AI recruiting algorithms. Or opening Twitter and seeing someone. No, I shouldn't admit to this on stream. I was about to say something, but I shouldn't admit to this on stream. When getting canceled for something they did when they were 12. Or <laughs> Yay! Or trying to stay up to date on global issues so that you don't seem like a bad person. But you also want to take a break from your phone because you feel like a slave to it. I don't think the world admit was easier this 20 <laughs> years ago, but I do think that things were a lot less complicated. The crime? No, it's not a crime. I didn't do no, nothing criminal. Nothing criminal or anything like that. No. before the internet finding your way as an adult is like walking around your room in the dark everything is familiar but you don't really know where you're going your parents yeah. showed you how it's done but for you it just seems so different than before and on top of it all we're getting older all of us no. but no one really talks about it. oh stop the time stop the clock i don't want to be a hag no i don't want to go about it i think that sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the fact that every day feels the same but when you look back everything is different <coughs> when i was 18 i thought i had the world figured out but now at 24 guy, i feel trust. dumber than You're ever and my mom keeps telling me to go to so like someone was announced five years ago <laughs> one day for sure <laughs> one day we can play big. Go away! I'm not old! But I'm honestly kind of scared because I'm not 17 and my body isn't made of rubber anymore. <laughs> they say your brain becomes fully developed when you turn 25, but the world doesn't feel any clearer. And when you wake up, go to work, come home, eat and sleep every single day, you start to wonder what your purpose even is in life. I remember coming home after about three months of working my first full-time job out of college and just wondering, am I really supposed to just do this for the next 40 years of my life? Oh, I spent boy. my time in college pushing myself outside of my comfort zone, challenging myself and growing as a person. And now my diploma collects dust on the top shelf of my closet. While Yay, so happy we got that diploma. So I can look at it while it hangs at the wall and do nothing with it. While I sign yeah. into a computer every day and talk to no one for eight hours. But you know what? It'll probably be okay. I think that for Gen Z, we're living in an unprecedented time with unexpected challenges and circumstances that quite literally nobody could have seen coming. But there are so many positives about living in the era we're in that I believe that in our hands, the world will become a better place. We might have been born too late to explore the world and born too early to explore the stars, but we were all yeah. born at the right time born to watch just Monkey in the right D. Luffy time. become the Pirate King. Could you imagine Yay! being 2400 years ago? We got. He's gonna end it, right? He's gonna end it, right? Before we die, right? He's gonna get there before we die, right? I swear Oda is gonna outlive us all. Oda is gonna outlive us all, man. Oh my god. No Spotify, no Twitter, no YouTube while I eat? I wouldn't have lasted a day. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time right. just so I could go up to a Victorian child and put him on as some Playboy Cardi. People from a hundred years ago will never know the pain of match MVPing in your ranked game just- That's not true, they might be playing the game in a hundred years too. You don't know that. ...to lose because your team- One Piece in, this in the last arc now? Oh, was that confirmed? Alright, fair then, Mate fair. Suck. The modern era comes with modern challenges, but I think that if anyone is equipped to handle the big questions in this life, like climate change, or world hunger, or when is she gonna text me back, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> what are the texts say? World hunger, or when is she 
Hey, it was good seeing you yesterday. You free later? Hey, no! She gonna text me back. It's us, Gen Z. Thanks for watching the video. Also, follow me on Twitter. Peace. Yo, I like that video. Yo. I, I just accidentally stumbled across a really good content creator. What the fuck? Hey, I like that. I like that a lot. Thanks for the aware moment. You're welcome. Thanks for watching, YouTubes.